Good morning and welcome back to Asgard and welcome to the second episode of our Skyrim modded Let's Play series. So, last episode we kind of just got started, got some armor and everything, um, and started, uh, you know, getting ready to work for the Dragonborn Gallery. So, this episode I went ahead and took a carriage over here to Whiterun because um, in the original, uh, you know, the first three quests that um, RN gave us. One of them was to retrieve some urns from Borgoth and Helgen, um, as well as investigate the Bleak Falls Barrow. So, I will say, the last time I went up to Bleak Falls Barrow, is horrible. There's some acolyte up there that's just super OP. Like, even my flame atronaut cannot hurt him. Uh, so, I don't know if we're going to be able to tackle that. Um, but we're going to go ahead and start off by getting our first follower. I'm all ears. Um, which is one of my favorite. Not literally, of course. It's you! I mean, what? No, I've never seen you before. I have no idea who you are. It's not like I've been stalking you or anything. Wait! Don't leave! Uh, I'm injured! Uh, yes, injured. You have to take me with you. Otherwise, I might die, and you wouldn't want that on your conscience. <laughs> yeah, well, that's because... Okay, fine. If you take me with you, I will make it worth your while. You won't find anyone tougher than me in Skyrim. Not to mention that's good looking. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Okay, but you'll be doing me a lot of well, favors in return. will see about that. I could have you wrapped around my little finger in minutes. Either that or I could have your head as a trophy. Anyway, thanks. I'll do what I can to help. But don't push your luck. Um. Let's see. So why were you out here I on your own? I'm out on my own now. I had a little too much to drink. So what? I guess I must have passed out. I hope I didn't cause too much trouble. Actually, I'm not really that bothered. And let's see. What happened to your clothes? What? I have no idea. My memory is a little fuzzy. If you happen to have any, I would appreciate it. <laughs> oh, and stop staring at my body. It's like you've never seen a semi naked woman before. <laughs> and where do you want me to take? I don't know. I'll just go wherever you are going. I will repay your kindness by fighting alongside you. Surely that's an offer you can't refuse. And... Wait. Okay then. Oh, yeah. I haven't introduced myself, have I? My name is Sophia, but you probably already knew that. I'm quite well known in Skyrim, although sometimes I'm not sure if it's for the right reasons. I kind of see myself as an adventurer. Although it's no fun without anyone to witness my heroic deeds, such as... Well, I'm sure there's probably something. I like to get drunk, kill stuff, and be a nuisance. So, what about you? And let's see... I'm a fellow nice adventurer. Nice to meet you. I hope to be of some use to you. I'm rather talented if I say so myself, so I'm sure there must be something I can do for you. Just let me know. Okay. Let's be honest. Um, Sophia is one of my... Of like all the followers and stuff that I've tried, she is one of my two favorites. Um, which are the two that I have um, within the pack right now. Sophia being one of them and then Celine Kate being the other. Um, which she's actually in Riverwood. We may not pick her up today. Um, I don't want too many followers right out the gate because I feel like... It kind of unbalances it, but I think one will make it a little bit more balanced because combat up to this point has been excessively difficult. Um, and uh, sorry it pauses sometimes like that. Um, so I have a hotkey save, so. And, um, oh, what was that? Um, also, I do apologize, I've got a little bit of a head cold, uh, this morning. 
So, all right. Um, and hopefully this video looks a bit better. I've decided to turn up the bitrate a bit when I um, edit the videos. Because I noticed in the last one it kind of made like a blur effect when I got into combat and started moving around like a lot and turning the camera. So, uh, hopefully that'll be fixed. So I think what we'll do is we'll run over to River Run first uh, and then on up to Helgen. but I don't know what the hell this thing is but it looks intense a deer horse what the hell <laughs> the animation oh there we go wow I want to keep this thing like all the time I don't know what mod this is from but this thing is amazing <laughs> boom Man. Maybe this thing will stay with us. I don't know. No telling. Wow. Okay, anyway. Um, you'll notice these, like, crystals. Actually, I think we talked about them last episode. Um, this is an example. There's a chest here. Um, and if we open this up, we've got a green rupee. <laughs> and uh, a forgotten sword. And a note. Which it says, northwest to the ancient forge, deep into the past, follow the Aeon path. Um, northwest, that would put it... I'm kind of betting it's the um, the forge that's up there. I um, can't think of the type of weapon, the exact name of it, um, that it makes. That Aeon weapons or whatever. Um... But anyway, I know there's something here in the Riverwood Trader that we can grab. So let's go ahead and well, grab that. It's one of these gemstones here. No. No so we're going to steal this like a pro, since it counts as stealing. There we go. Ninja that like a pro. And we've got a painting here. Let's steal this too. <laughs> Oh, there's Sophia's legs. Careful with that. Yeah, we're... Do you love taking it there from we behind? go. <laughs> taking people from behind. As in sneaking up on them the first... <laughs> Sorry, I just can't... Oh, she's still myself. mounted. <laughs> is what's going on, I think. <laughs> it's great. I love, I love it when Skyrim <laughs> bugs out. <laughs> Okay, anyway, let's go ahead and we'll grab the uh, I don't know what you the quest yeah, here. Uh, I'm not gonna... I'm gonna skip, you know, a lot of the conversation and stuff will skip, because I know anybody that's played through Skyrim has talked to this guy before. Uh, <laughs> okay, well we got a new painting and we got one of the uh, gemstones. So that's awesome. Um, let's go... Where's my... My mount thing. I wish I could like keep it around me. That thing's amazing looking. But I figure we ride it to Helgen. Did he go back over here maybe? No? Huh. <laughs> I'd hate to steal Sophia's horse. Okay. Well, I guess we're hoofing it then.
Actually, while we're up here, let's go ahead and get our first standing stone. Um, I think we're going to go with warrior for now. There we go. So we've arrived at Helgen, and there goes Alduin, of course. Alright. So let's see. So we're supposed to be finding a merchant. Of course, I'm sure he's dead at this point. And I'm not sure if there's going to be bandits. We failed it. Huh. Why did we fail it? Oh, because Helgen's been attacked. Needless to say, the urns Orgoth was holding for Aryan have been destroyed. Okay. Well, I was hoping we could find him, like, on a body. I wonder if that's, like, a downside to starting with Live Another Life. I don't know. head over here. I believe there's a dead body around here for live another life, so we might as well grab that. No, nope, not that way. Sophia's like so bugged all the time. Alright. And we did get a level. I haven't used it as of yet, but um, we'll mess with that in a second. There we go. We got our leather journal. Let's see. Let's see, it's to the dragon one. Yeah. No, that's Moon and Star. I hope this letter finds you well for Skyrim. Move this shit. Morwen in the great house of Lalu, all are in need of your strength. A grave threat from my homeland of Morwen has migrated to Skyrim, and though I nip at its heels. I feel that I cannot bring it down alone. Please, if you care at all for this land and her peoples, meet me at the Sleeping Giant Inn in Riverwood as soon as you can. Uh, we got an odd note here. Yeah, that's for uh, Dragon Break. Head to this house in Markoth. The fate of Skyrim rests in your hands. Underneath the map marker are scrawlings of what looks like ancient Daedric. Um, let's see. That is for extensible... Extensible... Follower framework. There's the Helgen Reborn startup. Um, maybe it's this. Now that's for Unremarkable Cave. Adventurer's Journal. There we go. I can't remember which one it was. And there we go. And um, so we'll go ahead and investigate the cave now. Going through there is a lot of dead ends. So let's go down through here. I'll have to check on um, that urn. Someone's looking for me in White Run. Um, but I believe the cave is right over here ish. Right down here ish, maybe? No. It's somewhere about these parts. Okay, let me set it here. How's Sophia a quest? No, turn that off. And I tell you what, turn off this. Okay. Okay, the caves are right up here. Was at the college of Winterhold that I learned a spell that made people naked. It has definitely got to be my favorite. It was all my idea, of course. Oh, I can show you what you like. No, calm down. I didn't mean on me. I was talking about a new. 
<laughs> All right. So we'll go ahead and get just the the storyline started as well while we're here. Um, and then we might, we might try heading to Bleak Falls Barrow. Um, but I can't make any promises that that's going to go very well. Um, after having encountered that acolyte before. Um, but we'll give it a shot this episode. Alright, here we the cave. And I'm going to go ahead and side with uh, Advar. <coughs> I tend to prefer the Imperial side of things. <coughs> Here's your healing potion. Drink it. Drink it. He gets a restore health one. Oh no! Cave's gonna collapse. Let's go. And that guy got crushed. Um, now I don't recall. I'm not sure if there's any like collectibles in the Helgen area like within the uh, the first part of the cave or something not for sure but I don't know if like there's no way to get those jars like as I've said before I'm like really big on collecting so it kinda kinda kills me that, we <laughs> that those jars are destroyed alright And there's that guy. Looks like he's gone for good this time. Yeah. Alright, so I'm gonna head to uh, Blue Falls Barrow now. And we'll go ahead and actually just teleport over there. And um, we'll try to get up to Blue Falls. Oh nice, found a treasure chest here. I don't know if this is always here. Can't recall, but we'll go ahead and grab um, all of this stuff. Sounds great. And we found a unique tomahawk. Okay, that's probably from uh, unique treasures, actually. <clears throat> so that'll go into our museum. So, there should be bandits in here, but normally they're outside. They're here. This is a surprise. Eat ass! God, get you some! The only thing that sucks is like, all their bodies went over the the edge there. <sighs> Alright, we got a Wheel of Pain amulet. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go down there and get those. Alright, anything else worth grabbing while we're here? We'll go with just that. So I'm going to go ahead and speed this up. I'm going to try to get down there with those bodies um, really quick as well. Because I don't like leaving stuff. Oh, well, there's one of the bodies right there. Okay, this could prove tough. Here comes that acolyte, like he's already ready to go. 
Um, like I said, he is super OP. Let's go ahead and go with... Oh, shit. Here they come. And he will just annihilate the piss out of my health. I'm not entirely sure what mod he's from. Um, I do have a level, though, that I could pop if need be. Try to hang out up here and... Yeah, maybe we can get him with the bow. Kind of cheesing him right here, but he, I mean, he is OP as hell. Oh, we actually managed to get him. Looks like those guys are beating the piss out of my Sophia. Let's get our sword out here. This blizzard makes it really tough to see, for the record. Alright, so this zealot drops this dawn of eternity. What is this? Oh, we got illusion skill. Um... Oh, this is from Inferno. I do believe. Yeah. Um. Wow, we got a Zamnant from that, which utilizes the power of time unleashing a surge of energy from the hands of its caster. And the Blood Mart. Alteration. Um. I'll read through this really, really quick. Some of this stuff is actually pretty inter interesting. It says, O oh, great ascendant from the blood of a kale, are you born, here to lead us into the age of eternity? You alone shape our lives, you alone provide our will. What are we but your specks of dust in your presence? We offer ourselves to be remade in your image, for it is you who decides our fate, you alone who decides our glory. Lift us from this realm of men and myrrh, so that we may walk amongst the ascended. And let those who worship the folly of the nine be cast from your kingdom and drowned in your fire. So it is verse, so it is spoken. And that is from um, the Inferno Bloodmarked stuff, um, which is actually, it's a, a more of an in-game mod. Um, he wasn't too terrible, I guess, but I think that's just because he was, um, okay, he was just hanging out here um, at Bleak Fall Barrows kind of like an introductory stage of the quest, but most of the uh, Inferno stuff is way more, way more tough, which we'll get into that stuff um, in time. Now, I do have some of the Inferno stuff turned off. We'll eventually turn it back on, but it is gauged for in-game, and uh, it makes life tough um, early on. I'm going to go ahead and sleep so it's a little bit brighter out here, because there might be some items and stuff outside of the uh, tomb. Maybe we can spot fairly quick. Um, I don't think we'll explore the Barrow today because I know this episode's running a little bit long. Um, but next episode, we'll probably dive into the Bleak Falls Barrow. Um, start checking that out a little bit. I don't think I'm going to be able to make that jump, huh? And like I said, I am going to look into those urns and see if there's not a way to actually obtain those. No, nothing out here. 
It looks like there's some kind of a light over there. It could be a crystal from Relics of Hyrule. I'm not for sure on that. Yeah, it sounds like it. So it looks like there's something related to the Relics of Hyrule within uh, the dungeon. So... I think we're safe to just go on in. Um, so yeah, that light's there. Let's... Oh wait, that's weird. The name was like all different. It was like Archgarbarabubla Temple. Instead of Bleak Falls Barrow. Okay, but once we get inside, it's still Bleak Falls Barrow. Kind of bright in here, actually. <clears throat> All right. Let's see. Hey, somebody's got a bow. Great bandit outlaw. Okay, we got bunches and bunches of junk. And I've still got rot joint too. I need to do something about. I'm moving like mega slow right now. Get you some of this. Oh great! She's a damn werewolf. All right, let's uh switch gears here a little bit. Why did that not get her? All right, it looks like she's like stuck on something. Like everybody's transforming this time. Like everybody's like werewolves and demon beasts. And how am I not shooting her? Huh. some of that. God. Well, there goes Sophia. I cannot. She's like a little bit bugged. Oh my gosh. She's just like, fuck you. Get you some of that. I don't want to go over there. Alright. Let me actually speed this up a little bit because this is taking a minute. So we got her down, finally. Um, that was pretty intense. Like, everybody's wanting to transform, it seems like. Um, and then my flame atronaut just kind of like went off. He's like, hell with this fight. I don't even want to do it. Of course, he couldn't seem to hit her either. So I don't know. She kind of like bugged or something. Uh, oh, we got a painting. That's like three of those that we've gained, gotten so far. Let's go ahead and bust this log. And I think we'll end the episode out here. Uh, because I know it's running a little bit long. Uh, and next episode we will dive into Bleak Falls Barrow. And then hopefully... Um, or Temple Arsh... Or whatever. Um, let's see. Can I actually see here? Yeah. Oddsters... Zogel grab temple. So that's where we're at. <laughs> um, but anyway, I'm going to end the episode out there. As always, if you guys enjoyed it, please comment, like, subscribe. It's very, very much appreciated. Um, and hopefully, next episode, we will 
knock this place out. Uh, hopefully. Um, I know there's probably going to be a couple hard fights in here, but... Um, but yeah, anyway, I hope to see you guys next episode, and until then, as always, take care, and I will see you then.